Hello and welcome to Unova. In this video, we are going to create a procedural flower growth motion graphics effect using some FBX imported models we downloaded from a free content store. I have set up a simple scene here of these four guys sitting just to give you some scale and context. Right now, we are rendering this in PBR. Let's take a break from the sketch shader for now. Alrighty, let's get started. I have imported these flower shrub FBX models, and now I need to apply their textures. To add a base color or diffuse texture, let's go to the material editor. Good. Now let's add a normal map, so it's not so dull and flat. Alrighty, that's all we need for this effect. Now let's import the 3D statue head FBX model. There it is. We're going to enlarge or scale up this model. Alright, that seems to be a good enough size for the effect we are going for. Now, we are going to do what Autodesk Maya calls a mesh distribution of the flower shrub. In Unova and Cinema 4D, we call it object distribution. I have distributed the flowers onto the statue. Now, when we move the statue, the flowers will follow. In Houdini, they call their equivalent of this something like Instance SOP. Alrighty, please keep in mind that some meshes can be very tricky to distribute onto, and we are working on making sure we solve this issue for all mesh types. So if you ever try a mesh or object distribution, and it takes a few tries before it sticks, or if some meshes simply won't attach, please contact us and take a screenshot so we can work on this for you. Very good. Let's adjust the number of copies. Now, please remember, if you are using Unova Lite, you will not have the full power of Religion VFX, but you will be able to do exactly what you see us doing in this video. The main difference between Unova Lite and Unova Pro when it comes to these cases would be the Use GPU feature. In Unova Pro, you can toggle the Use GPU button, which will allow you to create much more complex effects at much higher frame rates for production. But honestly, for casual users who aren't making huge films with millions of instances, Unova Lite will do just fine. Okay, let's add a fall-off effector to show a procedural flower growth effect. Good. If you want, you can use the animation timeline to animate this fall off. This way, you can make it seem like the flowers are growing procedurally on this statue over time.
Whoa, flowers on the head. That's nice. I think I'm ready to animate it now. What do you guys think? Let's do a simple left to right animation. Then we will animate it coming back. Yeah, right there's a fine spot to end the animation. Okay, cool. We got it. Now our animation is playing, and we can hide this fall-off gizmo. To hide the gizmo, just uncheck the show fall-off gizmo. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.